Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to implement HTTP interceptors. Interceptors are extremely useful concept, especially when you are doing this full-fledged automation. You want to add certain secret keys or add some headers, add some secret information into your headers or manipulate the request object itself before actually it sends to a URL. And hence, interceptors are extremely important, especially when you work on a, a complex enterprise setup, you might want to add all of those details. After this episode, you will be able to do just that. Let's get started. This is part 12 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 11 part, Please do make sure that you go back and check out the entire series so that you have continuity in your learning and you master Puppeteer with me end to end. We are in episode number 12. I have a lot of interesting use cases that I have identified for you in the series. Each one of them is extremely important and critical so make sure that you subscribe to the channel in order to stay in touch. Alright, so what are we going to learn today? Today we are going to learn how to use set request interception method. We are going to write some logic for what to do when certain pages are there, etc. Basically manipulate the request object. Remaining launch, new page, go to, we have been using them for a while now in the series. We'll also use wait for navigation. So these are all the top methods we will be using. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'll do is I'll create a new file and let's call it episode 12.js. I will check in all this code into a GitHub so you would have access to all of it. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we do is import the puppeteer and then we will write our async function and call it say intercept request and we will pass to um, we'll pass a param which is nothing but the URL right so this method will take one and every time we write async we have we will write try catch and do a console log of the error now here we are going to create a new instance of the browser and then create a new page and once we have the page now this is where things will get int interesting. I'm going to say page dot set request interception as true. Now that I have set it true, it will intercept each request that is coming in. And for that reason, we will imp have to write our custom logic as to whenever there is a request coming in, what should happen, right? So this is where we will write our logical code. So I'm going to say intercepted request right call back now here I'm inside this I'm going to write my custom logic that what should happen when I find a request now let's say I'm going to write a case where I'm saying if intercepted request dot URL instead of includes um, I'm going to say ends with right uh, if that's a let's say PNG right? so my logic says check for the request that is coming in and I'm checking that if it's a if the URL is ending with extension dot PNG that means don't do anything with it okay don't do anything with it so intercepted request dot abort I'll abort it that I don't want to do anything with it and we can log a console log and say request abort it Okay, but what if it's not? If, if the requested URL does not have the ending with .png, what should happen? So now I'm going to say intercepted request dot here th I'm going to add some headers and I'm going to say let's say user agent I'm going to or instead of that I'm going to say secret key all right so what I've done I've set the header right and here I'm saying I'm passing a secret key if it's not and then I'm going to say intercepted request dot continue so what I've done I've 
manipulated the headers and added a new key and true and console.log request continued okay this is where we are at so now I have I am adding in the headers as secret key and I'm saying continue with the request then once it is there request continued with headers right so this is how I will make my request HTTP interception that means I am manipulating the request before it is actually going right so this is where you'll write your logic for request interception and rest will be as it is what we will do we'll go to the page and we will go to the URL and we will wait for it and we will close it close the browser right and at the end we can log a console log and say request interception completed completed <coughs> right so then take a look at the, the code again all we are doing creating an instance of the browser creating a new page setting request interception as true writing the logic for the HTTP request interception and then we are saying go to that URL then browser dot close and we have closed that right now all we need to do is run this particular method so just do it here and pass a I'm not going to pass google.com I'll pass yahoo.com okay so something like this right perfect so when you look at your code you should be able to write it in a way that you are confident it will run and that will come only with time so see it continued request it continued with headers right so it it called so many times and then it aborted also though we called it only once right because there were so many requests that were made on that particular page okay so that's the reason it is there but let me open it in a headless false ideally this will be your own uh, URLs that you will be running so please don't do anything wrong run only uh, for learning purpose or on your own domain so you see Yahoo it made a request but internally there were so many requests so it continued with headers you see here but there were some requests that were made for PNG and that got request aborted right so that's how um, you can do any the, the logic I will leave it up to you as to what logic you want to put in your application but you know how to put it now just by using setting the request interception to true and then putting your logic whatever logic you want to place it here you can also do extract some data of it or uh, manipulate the data before sending etc etc I hope now this concept is clear extremely useful concept especially when you are doing a large-scale automation these are something that needs to be implemented thank you so much for joining in this episode we will continue our learning in the next episode we will learn how to generate PDF of a mobile device don't miss that and join me in the next episode thank you so much